And now, broadcasting from our nation's capital in Washington, D.C., it's free association. Here's the Fort Smith Fireball, your champion of chicken, and the sultan of segways, Mark Lane. Ka-chow! I'm Mark Lane. Welcome to this edition of Free Association. We've got some exciting action going on today, so you don't want to miss it. I will be interviewing Congressman Steve Womack from the 3rd Congressional District in my home state of Arkansas. Hopefully this is the first of many interviews I'll have with legislators here on Capitol Hill. I'll also talk about Arcade Fire winning a Grammy, because that's significant news, don't you think? I am in the music business as well, so I should talk about that. We'll also listen to some Arcade Fire, if that's your pleasure, when you dial 343-7913 with a request. For now, let's go ahead and play Foster the People with Pumped Up Kicks. 91.3 FM, your only choice for true alternative music. Where else could you hear what you just heard? Telekinesis with You Turn Clear in the Sun. Before that, we had Old 97s with Book of Poems. And before that, Rise Against... At help is on the way. I'm Mark Lane, and I don't need any help running free association. <laughs> Actually, I do. I would like to thank... I don't know who to thank, whether it be Karen Kilwatt Turbo, Cody, uh, whoever's at the radio, the radio Steve, when it comes to putting not only putting together my show, but also taking the request when you dial 343 343- 7913. Do we have anybody that wants to hear any Arcade Fire? Well, I'll tell you about Arcade Fire during this break. As you heard, they t- they took home a Grammy Sunday night for Album of the Year. And I think that this is a very promising... I mean, this is a promising trend when it comes to award shows. Now, I think that the Grammys in the past three years, have done a good job of awarding actual work as opposed to, uh, you know, giving uh, this one the award so he can get up and make a political speech or giving that one the award because uh, they, they rubbed the right elbows. You know, instead of album of the year going to a candy bar or to Madonna Redux, it goes to musicians who actually do a good job when it comes to perfecting their craft. And so Arcade Fire, they were very deserving of Album of the Year. Now listen to this. In 2010, even though Taylor Swift took home Album of the Year, you had had the Dave Matthews Band, who we play on 91.3 FM, you had the Dave Matthews Band up there for Album of the Year as well. 2009, Alison Krauss, you heard of her right here on 91.3 FM? Yeah. Her and Robert Plant took home grand, uh, Album of the Year. And then a, a runner-up, somebody else that you hear on 91.3 FM, was Coldplay. So, you know, it's very interesting to see that the Grammys are rewarding act, artists who do a good job as opposed to, you know, just having a boring awards show or what you know. How do people watch these anyway? It's like the revealing of a list. I get on to people for the NFL Draft or the NFL Pro Bowl uh, selection show. It's the revealing of a, of a list. You might as well wait to the next day and then, you know, see it and then uh, get mad over it or get happy over it or whatever. But yeah, the Arcade Fire, they took home Album of the Year. And like I said, I think this is a trend because the, the last gra- the, the Grammys for this year, it was the most watched Grammys since 2000. That, yeah, think about that. One Day as a Lion with Wild International. I'm Mark Lane, and I spent one day Monday at a panel put on by Sirius XM with some mavens in the media, and they were talking about how you get your first job. So I was very appreciative of that panel. But I noticed one theme amongst all these type of panels uh, where they talk about how to get your first job, and you got the bosses in the media there. They always talk about these stories of how they 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 hired somebody because they did this and they fired some you know they didn't even hire the person they took their resume and uh, propped up the broken table in the break room with it because it had something wrong on it that's you know they told those stories again 
It's like, and I knew a kid who served bread to the Pharaoh, and that's why I didn't accept his application at all. And then I knew another kid who served grape juice to the Pharaoh, and they, I hired him on the spot, and he's my boss now. And then I knew another kid who served both grape juice and bread to the Pharaoh, and now he's been cast out in uttermost darkness. You know, Well, you're not cast out in uttermost darkness when it comes to true alternative music. Keep it right here, because here's Talib Kweli with Listen. Maximum Balloon with Absence of Light on Free Association, LCD Sound System with Daft Punk, I'm Mark Lane, and before that, Dive Index with Agatha. Hopefully you haven't been in agony listening to my interview with Congressman Steve Walmack from the 3rd Congressional District in Arkansas. I don't want to be like, you know, Tim Brando used to host an SEC sports show on the radio, and he would talk occasionally he would talk about Big Ten football and it was very vexatious to the listenership of that show because we want to hear about Auburn beating up on Alabama or something. We don't want to hear about the, you know, uh, folks playing in two feet of water up there, you know, Northwestern versus Ohio State. So I understand where you're coming from and I fully intend to interview some legislators from the state of Oklahoma on free association while I'm out here in Washington. I do not want to let that opportunity go to waste to repay my wonderful listenership in green country. Now, you can pay yourselves by listening to Tip Toasty's Riot Radio. Pay yourself by listening to the best in punk rock, ska, rockabilly, and reggae from 7 to 9 tonight. Then listen to KO's new music show from 11 to 2 a... Uh, yeah, from 9 to 11. Then Turbo's Midnight Metal Meltdown, which airs from 11 to 2 a.m. That's all coming up tonight. And if you want to go out and have some fun tonight, Karen Kilowatt has some suggestions after the break. And then the drums have Best Friend. So there it is. <laughs> 